Welcome back to the second of three videos in a mini-series on the functional deficits associated with cerebral territory strokes. In this video, we'll be focusing on the middle cerebral artery. To work out the likely symptoms, you first need to know the distribution of the artery in question, in this case the middle cerebral artery, and secondly know the function of the areas of the brain it supplies. We'll begin by talking about the anatomy of the middle cerebral artery. As you can see here, it arises from the anterolateral part of the circle of Willis on the inferior aspect of the brain. As it then passes through the sylvian fissure, also called the lateral fissure, it gives off a number of small branches, called the lenticulostriate branches, to important deep structures in the brain. If we then look at a lateral view, we can follow the two major superficial branches of the MCA further after they have emerged from the sylvian fissure. The superior superficial branch leaves the sylvian fissure and travels superiorly along the convexity of the brain surface. Unsurprisingly, the inferior branch leaves the sylvian fissure and travels inferiorly. That summarises the anatomy of the middle cerebral artery. The lenticulostriate branches supply important deep structures including much of the basal ganglia and part of the internal capsule. The basal ganglia are important in motor control. The internal capsule contains tracts passing to and from the cerebral cortex, including ascending sensory and descending motor tracts from the face and body. The superficial divisions, namely the superior and inferior branches, supply the lateral parts of the primary motor and somatosensory strips. However, in the dominant hemisphere, which is by far most commonly on the left, the superficial divisions also supply Broca's and Wernicke's area, which are crucially important in producing and planning speech. In both hemispheres, they also supply other association areas which have less well-defined functions, but include spatial awareness. We can now piece this information together to predict the symptoms from an MCA stroke. The content already covered should have given you enough knowledge to work out what the symptoms are likely to be given that you know the location of the infarct and which hemisphere is affected. I'll go through some of the more common MCA strokes to help exemplify. The most common type of MCA stroke is called the lacuna stroke, which affects only small lenticulostriate arteries and is commonly caused by hypertension. Damage to the basal ganglia and internal capsule causes contralateral hemiparesis and contralateral sensory loss may also be present. A superficial division infarct will cause contralateral face and arm weakness and sensory loss. However, the lower limbs are not affected because they are supplied by the paracentral lobule on the medial surface of the brain, which is supplied by the anterior cerebral artery. The upper face will also be spared because it's bilaterally innervated. To revise this, see our video on the corticobulbar tract. If the infarct occurs in the dominant hemisphere, there may also be signs of aphasia due to damage to Broca's and or Wernicke's area. However, if the infarction occurs in the non-dominant hemisphere, the patient may present with disturbance of spatial awareness, so-called contralateral neglect, due to damage to the non-dominant association areas. If the proximal part of the MCA is occluded prior to the lenticulostriate branches, one can expect a combination of symptoms from both the lenticulostriate branches and the superficial divisions. Finally, it should be mentioned that due to the massive area supplied by the MCA, large MCA strokes can cause a serious condition called malignant middle cerebral artery syndrome, which is characterised by evolving cerebral edema, raised intracranial pressure, diminished consciousness and potentially death. So to summarise, the symptoms of an MCA stroke will depend on the location of the pathology and may typically affect the arm, lower face and speech. But remember, not all strokes present as they do in the textbook. Subscribe to Soton Brain Hub for more videos to help explain the mysteries of the brain.